Hey everyone, my name is Chelsea. I'm a conservation outreach educator here at FLCC's Mueller Field Station at the south end of Honeyway Lake. And we found a really fun discovery today. So I'm sitting here next to this honeysuckle bush, which is a non-native invasive plant that is everywhere across our landscape. But if you take a closer look, what we have found is actually a little shrew dangling in this bush. At first glance, I thought that this shrew was impaled on the bush. There are a species of bird that aren't super common around here, but I did see one here a couple weeks ago called the northern shrike that will impale their prey on thorns or like spiky things and then come back later and eat them. However, after I took a closer look, this guy's definitely just wrapped around this branch and not actually impaled. So there's a couple of things that could have happened here. I thought that maybe a bird of prey like a hawk or an owl could have picked this small shrew up from the field and carried it and then dropped it. Totally a possibility, but there's also a lot of cover here. So whether or not it would have fallen and made its way down to where it is now is definitely a possibility, but who knows. So another possibility of what could have happened that landed that shrew in that unfortunate position is that it probably could have just gotten stuck. So shrews have a heartbeat of 800 to maybe 1200 beats per minute at rest and that could be upwards of like 1300 beats per minute when it's excited, being chased, and whatnot. So that means that they have a very high metabolism and so they need to be constantly eating. And so possibly that shrew just got caught and wasn't able to feed enough to sustain itself and unfortunately passed away. Also, shrews are insectivorous, so they will feed on grubs, worms, insects found in the soil. Shrews are not excellent diggers like a mole would be, but they will still utilize maybe other species burrows underground and they will also create subnivian tunnels which means under the snow um, tunnels through the snow and navigate in the winter time shrews also contain venom in their saliva so this definitely helps them kill their prey the difference between venomous and poisonous is the shrew also like a snake is venomous in the fact that when they bite something it affects whatever they're biting Alternately, something that's poisonous is when you ingest it or an animal ingests it, then they get poisoned. So a poisonous plant is harmful if injected. A venomous shrew might be harmful if bit. Although in humans, it'll just cause probably mild swelling. So there's seven species of shrew in North America. Shrew new, right? So Chelsea, what type of shrew is this? So I have kind of narrowed it down to a short-tailed shrew. Um, reason being is because it's too large to be a masked shrew probably. Um, definitely too large for a pygmy shrew and a least shrew. Um, it also has a tail that is too short to be the long-tailed shrew. The size fits it also, it's about four and a half inches long. So that all leads me to believe it's a short-tailed shrew. And where is the venom? Where do they store that venom? So shrews um, have some venom. I think it's probably produced by maybe like a saliva gland in their bottom jaw that like mixes with their saliva so that when they bite their prey, it's injected and will start to affect the animal's maybe respiratory system and kind of slow it down, maybe even eventually cause the, the prey's uh, heart to stop or for respiration to stop. And if we were to get bit by a shrew, what would happen? Um, probably just like some minor swelling, nothing too major. Um, I don't think that the venom is potent or concentrated enough to really affect something of our size. Okay, that's good to know. Um, and one reason why this is not a mole is we're just right off the bat, it's got these tiny dainty little paws. As we were saying earlier, they're not very good diggers. Moles are excellent diggers and so they've got really large um, feet for digging, which this little shrew does not. Well, that was a shrewtastic time. I'm so glad we found the shrew in the shrub this morning. It have been a little gruesome. I know some people are squeamish about um, dead animals, but hopefully it wasn't too shrewd. <laughs> Oh.
Um, okay. Well, that was a true tastic time. Hold on. Um, it might have been a little gruesome. Oh, thanks for. <laughs>